this vlog's all about making a homelier yard and making it more cozy. So, as uh, some of you may know, I am fortunate to rent a yard with one of my very closest friends and we have always said we'd like to make it more homely and how could we do that? So we thought about a plan of having photos of the horses put up at the yard. So we couldn't do it in our tap room because we've got a stone wall so it'd be really hard to put the pictures up but we have got a storage shed with our rugs and stuff in so we thought why not put it there. So I've actually done this as a surprise for Harriet and who's the Kelly I <laughs> share the yard with so yeah we will see how it goes I first chose the pictures but I chose to have one of each horse at the minute we've got Quinn Frankie OB who are my three there and Ibby who was owned by Harriet stayed at the yard so I went back on old competition pictures and ordered directly from the photographer uh, a copy of the pictures or a copy that I could print of the pictures so that's what we did and then I ordered from Snapfish and I've just got the order through I'll show you now I'm not going to show my address but I've just got the order through so these are the pictures I've ordered so I've ordered one of each horse so open them. I'm sure there's like a proper way to open this but I don't know we'll have a look at how the pictures have turned out Yeah, oh, so it comes in like a little folder. So So I ordered one of each horse. Ah, oh, they're really sweet. So that, this is the first one. This is me and Quinn. This is at a show. Oh you can't you can see, it's not even grey in it. So this is from, I think I'm gonna say 2016 picture. But I really liked it. I thought he looked absolutely stunning in it. So here's the picture of him. And then we've got Ibby and Harriet. So I know Harriet's got one of these photos, but I don't think she has the other one. It's of her jumping the first time they did a sponsored ride, if you can see. Could be in Harriet. Oh, this is of Obi's first show. This is his first one and I remember this, he was so, I just liked this picture because he's actually looking at the camera. Ignore me, but I thought that that's quite a cute picture. And then the last one is of Frank's. So, I can just notice this back. So I haven't actually got this picture. I don't know why I wouldn't have brought this picture because I actually quite like it. But oh, that's Frankie. So yeah. They're the four pictures I ordered. So then I went to B&M. And I brought three photo frames. They were three ninety nine. B and M, favorite shop. And then I decided. So I'd obviously brought these and make sure that I'm getting them printed to the right size. Oh, I hope it's the right size. So yeah. So I've obviously brought two packs because obviously we've got four, and eventually we will have a fifth off course. So I brought two packs, and I'll put them in. <laughs> Love him. 
So, as you can see, this is our current very boring walls. So, nothing fun, nothing exciting, just very plain and boring. So, this is after I've put the four pictures up. Four of them there, and I've decided to go up to portrait landscape, portrait landscape. And now I'm going to put up some fading twine I'm actually going to use uh, above there. So we're going to use that to hang the rosette, make it really bright, and yeah. So I've now put the pictures up, put some fading twine at the top, and just hung a couple of the rosettes. I thought what I will do is the rosettes for this year can go in here because um, they do have windows and some of their frames have windows so yeah that's basically what we've done but it just brightens up the whole area it makes it look lovely we've also got this lovely slate horse which we use as like a noteboard really nice um, it's from an ebay shop actually so I will pop the link below but yeah it all just really brightens it up in here and makes it just look much better so yeah well thanks for watching guys i uh, hope you enjoyed it hopefully it's given you a little bit of ideas and inspo uh, yeah and speak to you next time bye